Mr. Michael Schaefer was born on September 21st, 1953 in Reading, Pennsylvania. He then grew up in Newmanstown, Pennsylvania with his parents, sister, and grandparents. Here he worked in the Glowray Knitting Mills where he folded and packed sweaters. At the age of 19, Mr. Schaefer enlisted in the United States Army where he would later go into the 82nd Airborne. The Army attracted him as he had an interest in heavy equipment mechanics and maintenance, which he would then go to specialize in. He then departed from Fort Cumberland Army Depot located in Harrisburg. From there, he got on a bus and went to Fort Dix, New Jersey. While training at Fort Dix, he participated in physical training tests and graduated in the top 10%. As a result, he was promoted to E2. In addition to Fort Dix, Mr. Schaefer proceeded to Fort Benning, Georgia for his airborne training. Then he traveled to Fort Belvoir in Virginia, where he participated in his advanced individual training of heavy equipment and once again graduated in the top 10%. This got him promoted to an E3 specialist. After Fort Belvoir, Mr. Schaefer went to Fort Riley, Kansas. From there, he took the advanced course, got in the top 10%, and was a corporal within about five months. He then states, Well, and I was a corporal within about five months of my service, so that's pretty uh, uh, unheard of, actually. <laughs> Mr. Schaefer was stationed in North Carolina, specifically Fort Bragg, for 18 months. Here he continued his airborne training by jumping out of C-130s, 141s, and helicopters. Overall, one thing that was consistent throughout Mr. Schaefer's training was the instructors, as he quote, Yeah, they were, uh, they didn't take any crap, put it down. <laughs> Mr. Schaefer was interested in heavy equipment maintenance and mechanics, therefore he chose to specialize in this field at Fort Belvoir. While in training, he participated in both mental and physical tasks including learning how to change tracks on bulldozers and working with hydraulics. In addition, being able to diagnose electrical problems with the machinery. Mr. Schaefer then states how this advanced training helped him later on in life. Not so much the mechanical training, but uh, the discipline you learn, uh, organization, you know, how to take care of yourself, brush your teeth properly. Mr. Schaefer's job in the 82nd Airborne was to distribute lubricants like oil and grease. Along with that, he also trained with M16s, a primary weapon used in the 82nd Airborne, and also learned how to properly throw a grenade. Mr. Schaefer hinted that the first jump was very scary because he did not know what to expect, considering the fact that he knew it was a machine that folded his parachute, and there was always a chance that it wouldn't actually open. He also shared that it took about 90 seconds to get 100 men out of a plane which made the situation very chaotic and fast-paced. By the end of his service, Mr. Schaefer had completed a total of 15 jumps with the 82nd Airborne through what was known as Ground Week, Tower Week, and Jump Week. Uh, when you hit the ground, how to roll, you got to drop and roll to break your fall instead of breaking your leg. Tower Week was when soldiers had to jump off of towers that were from the Seattle World Fair to stimulate jumping out of official aircraft. Last but not least is Jump Week, which was when soldiers jumped out of planes and helicopters for the first time. Even though Mr. Schaefer was instructed to stay in the States rather than go abroad into combat, he shared with us that he would have liked to go somewhere else such as Hawaii or Germany. During his service, Mr. Schaefer made the most of his downtime by R&R &R or relaxation and rest. For fun, he played foosball in the NCO club and shot billiards with the other men in his division. Mr. Schaefer tried to do as much as possible in order to keep occupied and get through it. To add on through being a squad leader, Mr. Schaefer made a lot of friends from across the United States and specifically remembers a couple of people from Philadelphia and Hawaii. With this role, he had a lot of different responsibilities, including fire watch. This meant that Mr. Schaefer would stay up for about four hours at a time to watch for fires. At the end of his service, Mr. Schaefer received the Sharpshooter Medal. He was awarded this medal for doing well on a series of shooting tests. Since Mr. Schaefer never actually experienced any combat, he was treated fairly when he returned home. However, some soldiers who fought in Vietnam were not treated as kind as Mr. Schaefer was. His transition back to normal life was pretty smooth as he was able to get a job relatively quick. He worked in auto body for quite a while until he got a job at Country Craft, where he has been for 31 years now. He is part of two veterans organizations, including the American Legion of Richland and the VFW in Womelsdorf. However, Mr. Schaefer did not keep in touch with any of his fellow veterans. A life lesson that Mr. Schaefer learned from his service is that everyone should have respect, dignity, loyalty, and organization. In fact, one of his mottos is... But uh, just, you know, keep going every day and do the best you can every day.